Hey guys, um, I forgot to add some non-scale victory information to my uh, Way in Thursday video, so I decided to just go ahead and make another video. Um, standing, standing and walking, I should say. Um, the other day, I was making some black bean veggie patties, and I'm working on my recipe, getting it together, so I can, you know, make a video so you guys can, you know, have that. But um. I love them. I love black bean uh, veggie patties. And I, let me tell y'all, let me just say this right quick. I put so much carrot in those things. Like I put so many carrots in it. It's crazy. Like my mom loves them, but they are chuck full of carrots. And it's like, she's like, if there's carrots in this. I'm like, yes, you can. I, I, you know, being a vegetarian has really made me realize that you can sneak and do stuff with your kids food you know, seriously, like you could sneak veggies into your kids. These things are really, really good and they're hearty and they, 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 um, they're filling because I mean, I use, you know, uh, black beans, uh, dark red kidney beans and white beans in the ones that I make. You could use anything though, any, any type of beans. If your kids like it and you, if they don't like beans, you can change the way they look. You know, when you smash them up, it changes the way the kids won't know. They're like, these are beans? Don't t they don't look like beans. So, you know, you can um, get them to eat beans and stuff them full of carrots. Because I literally take about six carrots, put them in the food processor, shred them up, you know, really shred them up. And, um, you know, I mean, I have so much. It's, like, it's probably like three, three cups of carrots in um, my recipe. Because I love carrots, first of all. I just, I love them. And, um, so I figured, Hey, it's, it's a veggie burger. So why not stuff them full of carrots anyway? So, but it takes me to make them. It takes a while. I have to, my food processor is small and I try to, um, you know, make it easy on the, the blade and the motor by chopping the veggies up. And it takes me about 15 minutes to wash all the carrots, peel them and, um, get them chopped up along with the, uh, the bell pepper, the onion, and uh, the garlic as well. And so once I do all that, it's about 30 minutes uh, veggie prep. And then I go ahead and, and um, process the beans and get those kind of smooth. But it takes about probably about 35 minutes to get all this stuff done. And um, usually I have to sit. Like I have to sit to chop stuff. So I'm sitting <laughs> in the kitchen trying to chop stuff because my back is like on fire most of the time, right? And so, um, the other day I didn't, I just wanted to see if I could actually do it. If I, you know, cause a lot of my issues with uh, weight are mental and uh, the behaviors associated with being over, behaviors associated with being overweight and being afraid of what will happen to my body. If I do certain things or push it beyond certain limits has really helped me back, you know, in certain ways. So I was like, you know, now whenever something is fearful to me, I just, it's like, it's, it's the biggest issue on the, you know, on the agenda. So if, you know, my back, like feeling like my back may start hurting and I may have to sit down was a fear. So I was like, no, mm -mm, I'm going to see what happens. Let's just see what happens. And so, um, I started y'all, I, I cut up the veggies, processed the veggies put everything together, added all the ingredients together, and made me two patties and didn't sit down one time. And I'm telling you, you know, I just, you know, I, you know, y'all know I'm a leaky faucet. So when I, once I had fixed my food, I just, before I could even eat, I was like, just bawling. Cause I'm like, God, you know, this is, you know, this is really, really happening. And then the other day, um, sometimes my mom, my mom will go to the grocery store and uh, she has, I don't know if I told you guys this before. I'm not sure if I shared this with, with you guys, but my mom was uh, hit by a car walking into her job in 2007. So she has a lot of issues, still a lot of health issues, but she's doing remarkably well. You know, she still has issues and, you know, we're just really blessed that she's here with us. So, um, but she, she's, you know, still, she has that independent mind, you know, you know how mothers are. She always, she always thinks she can do everything and all this stuff. That's just how mothers are, you know. So she'll go to the grocery store and have someone help her out. 
and they'll pack, pack the car for her. And so when she comes back, I have to unpack it. And so, um, you know, I used to have to uh, go and like come in and rest. Mm -mm. I sometimes I have to make two or three trips. I, I go and make two or three trips. And this is something that I enjoy doing. This is the craziest thing. And I'm, I need to stop because I'm going to hurt myself. I know, but it's just, it's fun. Um, she'll buy like a case of water or two cases. Last time she bought two cases of water. And I like to put them on my shoulders. So I'll take like both the cases of water and just put them on my shoulder and then walk into the house. Like I'm silly like that. But that's the thing. Like I could, I could actually do it. And I wasn't like you know, in a hurry to go sit down or in a hurry to get something to drink. It just, it feels so good to, to not feel like I am, um, you know, in my body is a prison anymore. Like it's, it's stopping me from doing what I want to do, what I feel like doing. And, um, yeah, it just, it just, it feels, it feels freeing, freeing, very freeing. I feel like I am slowly emerging, you know, and, uh, yeah, that just, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It just, it feels so good to be in a different place, you know, to see um, where I've come from. And I mean, I have so, so, so far to go, but, you know, I'm not where I was. Okay. Okay. I'm not where I was. And uh, I just, I, I'm just, I'm excited about the future. Like, I really am. I'm I'm just really hopeful and um, and happy. So I just want to share that with you guys. And, um, uh, you know, I encourage you guys to share your, your non-scale victories because so many of you have shared yours. And it, it has made me, you know, made me just, made me realize that, that things do change. Like, things really do change. And, um, yeah. Okay, so that's all I wanted to share, guys. Bye.